Greg, why did I need to come all the way from works to come here? Uh, Tim, it's finally time to make a new video. I'm Grumpo, and I'm Randy, and it's time for a new video. We've been yeah. brainstorming for months. At least six. I went to business school in New Zealand to try and come up with big ideas. I was doing Grumpo stuff. As he does. And now we're here. And if there's one thing we know, is that we know we're not funny anymore. So we're pivoting, and uh, we're gonna do... We're gonna be we're a cooking gonna a new channel. channel. We're gonna make this cooking. channel into a cooking channel. Yes. Yes. Is it going? Yeah. Oh shit, we're, we're really out of practice. Um, hey! And we're back, and this is... Uh, I'm Brem, and we're starting our cooking channel just like this. So, for a lot of you guys, you watch the Babish videos, and he issued a cooking challenge, not only to the, the United States, but the entire world. How crazy is that? So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take his challenge, and we're gonna make an in in instrument out of that. So, here we got chorizo sausage to fill in for the sausage standard meyer july 9th 2018 corn chips original um and then we've got a couple other things so the way that we wanted to spin with this I I ingredient list is you know fill in peanuts and chocolate for the peanut butter cup ingredients and then we're gonna go and we're gonna make a uh, chipotle hollandaise sauce and for the other things we're gonna pair the peanuts with a super sharp cheddar which is getting a, a little uh, a little mushy it's been out for a little while we're gonna pair the <clears throat> dairy milk with the pepper cheese this goes with that and we're gonna top it all off with a nice ciabatta loaf I really wanted like a wide French loaf but um, this grocery store didn't have it Now this is how you dine. How is it? <laughs> oh, whoa, that mellows out. That's really good. Wow. You? Yeah. Okay. Good. Now it's time for the crust. So we're gonna put about this much corn chips in. Go a little, put some corn in there. Uh, these are very exact measurements. And then put some, uh, half of this amount of cheese in there. I, uh, you know, I, I, before, in some preparation, I got some peanuts ready. This might make it a little too creamy and not enough crust. Whatever. Let's go a little crazy today. Let's throw about that much in there. And then let's ice crush that. That's not working. Jank. Yeah, you just gotta move that around in there. Alright. A close up on that shit. All right, and now time for uh, the hollandaise sauce. So for this, we're just gonna really easy break the egg. Oh, so you just, just go like that. Try not to break the yolk. Get as much of it as you can. Woo. Easy as pie. Uh, I don't really know the recipe too well. Alright, uh, so put on your favorite Netflix channel and start streaming that water. Throw it on the melter and turn it up. And that's going to start boiling. Start putting that. You can very lightly cook it. One suck. Alright, and then just uh, get a little bit of water. Let's put yum. Yum a dum dum in the... Uh, bathtub. What the fuck? So once this baby starts simmering, uh, that's actually way too much. Make sure you're at the simmer. Every, every stove has the simmer button. It's required by every law. Sing, yeah. Um, so you want to put this on there and keep it moving. You really, you, uh, you, at this point, you know, you just, 
Uh, you, um, and this, just really gotta keep it moving. And the thing here is that you gotta, so you wanna keep it moving. Uh, the thing with this is, so we got a bad, um, so, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a really long time. Uh, usually, since this is such a small, uh, or such a large bowl, you can see the bottom no matter what, but you want to keep this moving until it thickens to the point where you can see the bottom a little bit thicker, and that's when, and if it ever looks like eggs, you want to take it off immediately. You know, like the eggs you eat with your mouth. Think you'll get that? Uh, probably. So at this point it's getting pretty thick, so you want to start adding the butter really slowly. And so we're towards the last slab of butter. This is what we got so far. I, you know, this is only my second time making this sauce. This is about the consistency you want. I have no idea. Last time I made this, I used some Bernays sauce for a $50 cut of a nice filet Wagyu uh, grass-fed. And then I mended up the entire thing by just accidentally pouring too much salt into that. So, you know, you win some, you lose, you lose a lot of them. You lose pretty much every other one. Mm. I'm going to drink this entire thing when we're done. All right, so now we want one teaspoon of chipotle chili pepper. Let's put that in there. Then like a pinch of salt. Then you want, preferably, uh, uh, preferably you want one pinch of freshly ground pepper, but we're heathens, so we're just gonna use regular pepper. That's, right. That's how you make a homemade macaroni and cheese. No, no, no. So we don't have a panini press, so, so uh, I was like, you know, let's just grill the cheese. And then I wanted a nice wide French loaf to get some nice uh, unobtrusive cuts, but they didn't have that either, so I had to settle for some ciabatta bread. And as we all know, this kind of has a rough, hard-to-stick exterior that doesn't work for when you're putting a little crusty on there. So I think what we're going to do is turn the broil up. It's basically like no-contact grilled cheese. We're gonna Take out the pan that we forgot to remove from when we were roasting our poblano and orange sweet peppers for the salsa we had last night. Take out the stick of butter that we knew we were going to need later um, because it's all melty. Really slathered on. So don't have, this is a terrible idea. Pat that on there. Shake it off to see if any of it actually, oh wow, that worked surprisingly well. I'm just going to slide that baby in there. Easy as pie. And don't ever cook meat. Let's throw that on and turn that up. It'll separate. Everything's gonna be fine. All right. Have a good weekend. Let's take a look at how you're doing. Oh fuck. Ah! <laughs> turn it off. It looks like donuts. All right, time to plate everything up. So here's the results of the, uh, there you go. Um, so what we're gonna do, let's get a nice cheese layer in. Let's get a nice cheese layer going first. This is a habanero cheese. And then let's get some chorizo. Never use your hand. Um, now let's get the chocolate out. And let's just like mix that in with the chorizo. Hoping the spice and the uh, the milk kind of balance each other out. The trick here is that you don't want too much chocolate. All right, let's, um, let's throw one more slice of cheese on there. You know what? Let's butter it. All right, now let's put this on. All right. 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Mm. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> 